Aaron, is that Aaron? Oh. Really? What if the human is a psycho killer, child rapist murderer? I think sometimes you've got to call the herd. I think mm-hmm. sometimes there are weak links and they should be eliminated. <laughs> Wouldn't do that on an arbitrary basis. Okay. Arbitrary. Okay. Psycho killer, child rapist murderer is not arbitrary to me. Yeah, yeah, well, it, I'm saying that if, if there was a good reason for that, it wouldn't be arbitrary, and then it would be justified. That's the, that's the distinction. Would you uh, shame a pig farmer who is not a corporate commercial farmer, who's just, you, he's got his own pigs that he raises and he slaughters? I'll, t- I'll tell him it's wrong, oh, yeah. yeah. I would say it's Why? wrong. They're his animals, he's raising them himself, he's no, taking no, no, care no. of them. They're not his animals, the animals, the animals are their own beings. He, like, he, he might, pays for them. I don't care he if pays he pays for them. For them. He, he takes care of them. And to be quite honest, they're, they're know, living beings. People, I, don't, I don't care what the law says, they're living more beings. People die from living pigs. Being. More people die from pigs than from sharks. Well, they, they bought you to free you because the people that had you were selling you. I mean, you were enslaved by somebody else. You were bought, you were bought to then be killed. No, that's that, that's not necessarily true. I mean, a farmer who raises animals doesn't kill all his animals. Which animals doesn't that's... he kill out of interest? Because majority of them die. Not it's by a, him. It is. He sells a lot of them, but he, the ones that he kills, well, I mean, most like... animals that are eaten are killed within like the first year to two years of life. It doesn't, it doesn't matter but if there are animals directly. that are kept for breeding. If he sells there are animals off, that are kept. If he sells them off to be killed, they're still going to be killed. They're still being brought into this life for either his profit or you know, to, or to die. Well, he, he's been profiting from their deaths. Because that's where people... What's on your feet? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, what's on your... Wh- huh? Wait, I'm what, sorry. What is on your feet? What kind of shoes do you own? What kind of... What shoes? are your shoes made out of? Oh. Are all your shoes made out of canvas and rubber only? Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, vegan. Sure you oh, yeah, you, you can buy vegan shoes. What are you talking about? You can buy vegan shoes. I could show you a picture of my shoe rack if you'd like. So you guys, you guys have no problem guys. cutting down trees. Well, guys, the conversation's skipping all over the place. Of course, we don't have a problem cutting down trees because they don't yeah. have a scent. You, you have no problem with deforestation. Well. Then. I, well, you know, I have hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're going to talk about deforestation. deforestation. If we're going to talk about deforestation, can we just mention that 95% of Amazon deforestation is due to cattle and the food that we're feeding cattle? Yeah. So if you want to talk deforestation and saving trees, don't eat cows. That's why we're vegan. That's, but no, just, a good chunk all... of it actually is due to the fact that they're raising crops okay. like soy. Oh. No, no, yeah, the soy is being fed to cows. Wow. The soy is also being fed to vegans. No, the soy is being fed to cows. The actual amount of soy we actually eat is a very, very small percentage compared to how much soy is fed to cows. Yes, all the vegans eat just a tiny micro percentage of soy. Yeah. Okay. And more from eating a cow. And all those, all those soy products you use in place of the animal products. The old nomad how much a cow can consume and how many are slaughtered. All, All your clothing, is it all made in America? Does it all have a made in America or made in England tag on it? Um, or does it have a main I mean, I want to know how moral you guys are because well, is this I'm finding it hard to believe that, that you guys are standing on the thigh horse because you don't eat animals. It's not, it's not... Do what we can, really. Yeah, the, 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 the... at the end of the day, if your sweater says made in Bangladesh and it was like some four year old kid that made it for like two cents for the week. You're okay, okay with that because appeal you need to be no, no, yeah. yeah, it's appeal to futility. Appeal and, to futility. and no, we're not cool with that. Oh, and most of us will, and most, I, I eat that all the time. And most of us will actively try oh, and avoid God. that where possible, yeah. This is like, vegans, vegans always shame meat eaters. This is like the argument no, from defensiveness. I've heard, I've no, heard hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You're, vegetarians. You're... It, the, thing is, the thing is, exactly all I did that. is state the facts. If people feel guilty about the yeah. facts and think about why you feel guilty not, about the facts. About well, facts, you know what the facts are? Uh, all, animals, all animals are opportunistic carnivores. That's a fact. All of them. 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 I can show you videos. I can show you videos of a cow eating baby chicks. I can show you videos of deer stripping another deer's carcass. I can show you videos of squirrels eating rattlesnakes. I can show you videos of fucking rabbits eating birds. Right. Okay. All the animals are opportunistic carnivores. You want to know why they're opportunistic carnivores? Because you have more protein in meat. All life knows that. Even plants eat meat. Even fucking plants eat meat. Oh. Vegans have abortions. You don't have to have the abortion, but they you do anyway. Going from point to point every time. Point to point. And you're life not... is life. I mean, if you guys are going to put this huge life on Can animals, you stop this animals are so important. Point to point, just throwing out.
ridiculous amounts of stupid. Can you just slow down a little bit? Ridiculous amounts of stupid. And we'll Come take on. this. Listen, you man. Guys you're gish like galloping. You're gish you galloping. Like, you're going from too much like to a portion. Like 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 no, listen, listen, listen. We'll you make it like re-listen. animals are the end-all be-all. Listen, no. listen, stop, stop, stop. language stop. to try and catch something, you know. You're gish, listen, you're gish galloping. You're throwing out so many fallacious arguments that it's They're impossible. They're not fallacious. These are facts. No, yes, time. they are. Yes, they are. They are oh, factually fallacious. Oh, vegans fallacious. don't have abortions. I'm in a modern now. Vegans have abortions. What is that? A, a categorical distinction? Are you saying all vegans have abortions? No, I didn't say free, all. I said I've vegans have kids, abortions. Sorry. I just I just don't like when vegans try to use this moral high horse like over oh, superior because you're using <laughs> you're eating animals that have been tortured. How do you know my animals have been tortured? How why would you presume that in the first place? Well, well they they're dead. That's a big factor. Like they're, they're dead. They, that they doesn't mean they were die. tortured. Doesn't mean they were tortured. Doesn't mean that they lived a shitty life. No, I just had a knife in the neck, Can you know. Can I ask, Erin, say, for example, tomorrow someone just wanted to kill you, they did it in a nice way, would you say that that's appropriate? If somebody wants to kill me. If someone killed you tomorrow, doesn't matter if they did it nicely. Oh, well, they would could you try to. Be appropriate? Yeah, it's not they try to. Would you, they could would try you accept, to. Would you accept yeah, it? If they did it, would you accept it? Would I accept if they tried to kill me? Yeah, you've had a good life. Yeah. Well, they didn't do it. They tried and they failed because there's no guarantee that they're going to kill me. I am not an animal. I'm a human being. You do understand there's a difference, right? Name name the difference. the difference that means that one's okay and the other's not? Name the actual difference between humans and animals. Are you living in a house or are you living in a nest? No, 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 no. Name the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you in a city that animals built or that people built? Name a difference. Did you go to a school that the animals built? She did, Chris, to be fair. What was the difference? She did there. We built civilization. No, what, civilization? Not animals, us. C- we did it. It's a different Earth. civilization. Is that the difference? C- miss- civilization. It's a different civilization. Well, well, yes, in some ways, yes. Okay, so, so, so if humans don't have civilization, the they're okay to be killed. No, and- you would reject that. Next. Are you going to go tell the lion to stop killing the gazelle? Are you going to go tell... No, because the- a lion like lacks moral agency and has no other option. You Exactly. They are not us. They are not us. We are humans. So there's a difference there. And you are equating them to us. That's what yeah, you're like, their yeah. life is so valuable. It's just as valuable as a person. So, so, so you're saying if they don't have moral agency, that they're not okay to kill. Okay, so if a human didn't have moral agency, you realize would it be okay that, like, to kill when them? A pig no, gives birth, no, It gives Next. birth to like 10 piglets, right? When a human gives birth, it gives birth to one baby. Right, and okay. piglets quickly get off the ground the moment they're born and they're able to suffice. They, they can walk around yep. and run and Human babies can't. Right, yeah. It takes us three years before we can just toddle. Okay. Let alone be of sufficient on our own. So, what, 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 is, what does this justify eating animals? Between a human and an animal. Yeah, but that, that, what? So, the difference between the human and animal is that the animals will have more than one. Oh, so if humans have I mean, ten babies, have less than that. There's, there's, I just named several differences. Yeah, but they're all rubbish. So if if humans, but have they're not rubbish. They're only rubbish, rubbish to you because you want to keep waving your finger as if you're some moral okay. superior so, person so, for choice. Wait, wait, wait. wait, so your differences has been civilization. So if humans didn't have civilization, it would be okay to kill them. No, your other one was animals have more babies. So if humans had humans more babies, humans have had civilizations since the dawn of time. I mean, there hasn't been a point where we haven't. Hold on, what is that, Aaron? I was saying, you guys yeah, see animals as these high beings, but uh, why don't you guys no, see don't. plants as high beings? Because they're not sentient. Why, why they're don't you not guys sentient. They, but they are. What do you mean plants by are high beings? Provide the study. Plants there are plenty of, hold up, hold up, hold up, of studies. Hold up. They are. There, hold up, hold up, everyone. that show how plants react I, to being no, hold up, cut, uh, how plants react to being packed. You know that smell you smell when when you cut the grass? Yep. That's them releasing a warning signal to the rest of the plant, oh, to the rest of the okay, grass, saying, on, oh my god, up, we're in danger. We've heard up. this argument a hold thousand up. times, hold trust up. me. This is no, there, there are you plants that actually what... parasite off other plants. Oh, god. There are, there, there are plants up. that eat meat. There, there are me plants that, that they sense, Let us respond. They sense danger. Let us respond. Found... We, yeah, Let we, respond. We've heard this argument Let a thousand Chris times. Respond. No, no, Chris but respond. That shows them being sentient. First Let off, Chris respond. First off, you need to provide the study. Second, you can go on Wikipedia and look under and, uh, plant perception, which lists all the things you're you know, saying plants do. It's under the paranormal category. All the other things you're actually uh, suggesting that plants <laughs> do are signs of intelligence, not sentience. My iPhone can do a lot of these things. It can react to sound. It can react to light. It can do all these things. All this art is reacting to external stimuli. does not mean they have a subjective experience of the world or a sentient in any way. So unless you want to provide 
actual scientific evidence of plant sentience which doesn't exist then you have to concede to the fact that plants are yeah. not sentient it end does, of conversation anyway because I'm animals make you cry. Plants. plants take sun energy they take the photons from the sun, con convert that into carbon-based light. They're the only organisms that do this. So we need plants to exist. Animals would not exist if not for plants. So even if plants were sentient, we'd still have no choice. Regarding eating other animals, we do have a choice. I have a but it doesn't do anything too. to me. If I do that to the onion, the onion releases things that make me cry okay, to Aaron, try to stop Aaron, hurting it. Erin, provide the study or stop. I'm going to ask, right? When plants, there is no need for them to be sentient because they cannot move from danger. They, they cannot, they, yes, they cannot some move plants do. No. Some right. plants do. Listen. Are you able to define sentence in a way that would make me confident in your ability to actually understand the word? Can you do that? Can you do it? I don't think no. I have to prove myself to you. And that's a real douchebag move, to be quite honest. You guys asked for studies. Well, you guys asked for fucking evidence. And I just put a shitload of documentaries it, and studies. But yet, hey, it, whatever. He shows a study from God knows when with a black and white photo of some fucking priest. You're right. If you keep, don't telling yourself, if you don't, keep telling you, yourself that plants are fucking... And you just study? want to keep telling yourself that plants are these non-feeling objects, so that way you feel good while you're consuming them. I mean, I and then you can tell everyone else, oh, oh, but animals feel, and you should feel bad. Well, plants feel too, but you don't want to uh, accept it. I just debunked your own article that you sent no, me. No, you didn't. Yes, no, I you did. didn't. That was the one you sent me in the chat. Because I, I sent a fucking bunch of them. Why don't you look at all of them? Oh, yeah, but I Take just the three through... hours. Watch the three hours worth of documentaries there. I just gone through your own your eyes. study. You just sent, you just because sent I don't, me a... I don't trust your reading ability, to be quite honest. Yeah, I sent you a study that wasn't applicable. Uh, yeah, you sent me I one. think that you guys purposely take what you want out of whatever it is to fit your well, agenda. Whether or not plants are sentient is completely irrelevant because within the biological system but that, that we live in- that was the in, first thing, was they're not within, sentient. That was the first you, thing you, you said. Like, do you have the capacity to not talk and to just self-regulate yourself? No, for like no, no. Now when you guys go and change the goddamn fucking time. Like, I'm not what? changing the subject. I'm explaining why your arguments bunk. So- let him speak. Plants take in the energy from the sun and they turn that into carbon-based life. They are the only organisms that are capable of doing though that. So without plants, animals do not exist. Can okay, I... so animals need plants to exist. So whether or not they're intelligent or sentient is irrelevant. We would still require them to be able to subsist. You do not need animals to subsist. That is the difference. If you do not understand that difference now, you will never understand that difference. Can we also just uh, bear in mind, this is the other study she linked us. Once again, plant intelligence, no sign of the word sentience within the article. Just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Get it, Tim. <laughs> yeah, Tim with another mic drop. <laughs> uh. I mean, how much more evidence do we need to show now? I mean, like, <laughs> Unless we've got watched three hours of documentary. Do, do, you, do you think bacteria are sentient? Viruses are sentient? Those poor bacteria. Viruses aren't even alive. I know, I know. I'm, I'm seriously asking. Does she think bacteria are sentient? Does she think viruses are sentient? Right. Like, does, does it quite, do you, as soon as you become a cell, does it start becoming sentient? Or, or are atoms sentient? Like, I'm asking serious questions right yeah, now. Nick, you might say on me. You don't eat bacterium. You're eating plants, okay? Well, so why don't you I, stay I do on eat point? Bacteria. I, like, no, I'm asking, like... Oh, you do? You live off a of bacteria and virus now? That's what you're eating? That's your <laughs> well, diet? Well, if bacteria were sentient, then there would be moral qualms about B12, right? not your diet, right? I'm going to the point that you guys try to shame people who eat any kind of meat or fish or it's eggs not, or not, milk not. or cheese. You try to shame them for doing that as if you're morally superior. And I say, well, plants also feel. Now the sun <sighs> is like, oh, no, they don't. Well, I'm showing you they do. And then you no, want no, to come no, and jump right in. Right 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 can you right answer right the right fucking the question? No, are because you don't eat bacteria. You don't eat virus, so they point. are irrelevant to the conversation. logical consistency? Do you understand logical consistency? Do you understand logical consistency you don't Are because bacteria they're not and viruses me. sentient which one both neither can you I mean, answer the fucking question thank you and we do eat bacteria b12 and you others. know what if pricks got 
stop muting me? Maybe I could answer the question. One, they're not relevant to the conversation it's because we're not talking about yes, bacteria. Yes, you fucking don't... are. Logical consistency. Because you eat bacterium. Because you yes, eat them. Yes, we do. We do eat bacteria. You don't. You eat plants, motherfucker. You eat plants, motherfucker. That's what you eat. Bacteria in our stomach. Yeah, it's in your stomach. It's living. It's fucking living, you dipshit. It helps you fucking yes, digest all those things. You can put bacteria in your stomach with antibiotics. They're with moral growth. Oh, my God. Breathe. Now. Yeah, breathe, you are people. Breathe. 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 Breathe.